All right, this is Chris Perillo from Lock and Ohm and Gnome Dex, and the extremely poor LED lighting. I apologize. Um, it makes me look more white than I actually am. No, actually, I really am this white. Okay, Empire Avenue. Why is it important to you? Uh, well, it's important to me because uh, I'm doing all this stuff anyway. I'm active on Facebook, uh, both my fan page and personal page, uh, uh, Twitter, Flickr, LinkedIn, all of these social media profiles. And Empire Avenue is merely acting as kind of a, um, what, what did I say earlier? A vector for discovery, discovery uh, of not just the things that I'm doing, but a vector for discovery of what other people happen to be doing. People who have no idea who I am, and that's fine. I'm, you know, I don't think I'm all that important to begin with. But people are discovering me, I'm discovering them through this game. But it's less of a game and I think more of a, a, I think a, a catalyst for uh, community engagement. So the, to me, the object of the game in Empire Avenue is to return back to your community. It's not about occurring the most amount of eaves or the virtual currency. It's about driving the most amount of dividends for your shareholders, for your community. And so every gesture that I make in Twitter or Facebook or Flickr or any of those connected profiles, anything that I do uh, in my blogs uh, becomes valuable to anybody who invests in me because my stock goes up, my dividends go up, uh, potentially their share percentage goes up, and so they get more from me. I mean, beyond the things that I'm doing anyway, but beyond the things that you're doing anyway, you're sitting at a tweet, right? But when someone can ascribe a relative value to that beyond the value of you know the information that you might be providing, you are effectively um, gaming the system, so to speak. Uh, you're giving them a reason, one more reason to pay attention to the things that you're doing and saying. And this is the same for everybody who's involved. I mean, the, the, if you treat uh, Empire Avenue uh, as, as Facebook, as Twitter, as YouTube, you probably won't do very well. It's a different type of uh, tool, a different type of mechanism. And uh, I think that the most exciting part about it is less about the uh, traditional uh, ego stroking that you might have in a social network, like accruing the most amount of friends, and it's about community stroking and you know really enforcing the idea that you're there for everybody else. And that's that's kind of what's exciting too. Cause I've always believed in the power of community and done everything to catalyze that, but this is kind of taking it up uh, to a, a completely different level. Okay, tell me about the deltas you've seen in your in your individual properties and then in the Empire Avenue property uh, from participation. Have you seen a a market market shift in the number of retweets, the number of followers, and the number of um, leads generated for Gnome Dex, uh, something, you know, you know, in and out, of, what are your analytics in and out of the game? Empirically, I could probably go back and, and, and look, because Empire Avenue actually has tracking built in, mm -hmm. so that'll tell you, uh, from last week, you're up this many retweets, uh, from, from the week before, you're up this many, you're up this many, you're down. So I get some base level analytics from all the connected profiles, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I could probably go back and look <laughs> empirically. Uh, if I base it on a gut instinct, I can tell you it's, engagement is absolutely, uh, I would say, through the roof. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that it was uh, you know, doing horribly before, but uh, I think the, uh, the, the, the willingness for everybody to engage, uh, you know, when you place a, 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 the gamification layer on top of social media, and really that's effectively, the, uh, effectively what Empire Avenue has done, uh, you know, you're giving people all that much more reason to reply, to retweet, to share, uh, and it's even kind of uh, caused me to step up my game, uh, doing more to reply to people on Twitter, uh, and, and it's not that I wasn't doing it before, but I've always seen Twitter as a, kind of an odd uh, set of, um, uh, of tools. I mean, yes, it's a great way of connecting with people, but you can't really effectively follow a conversation thread in, in, uh, in Twitter as much as you could do, say, in, in Facebook. So, uh, you know, that being said, you know, when someone says something on Twitter, if I have something to say, I want everybody to see what I have to say, not just that one person. So I try to put in every response, in every tweet, you will never see me say, at so-and-so, ha, 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 ha. It's like... People do that, and it's, it's like I look at that and like I don't understand. I don't want to dig in, in, even further. I want to see everything within 140 characters, uh, whether I'm following that person or not. Um, but it, it's caused me to kind of think differently about uh, you know how I'm how I'm interacting, uh, and, and uh, you know also in, in how I uh, uh, engage other people in, in, the, in the things that they're creating and the things that they're sharing. So I'm much more willing to say reshare or retweet or whatever. 
whatever, share something uh, from somebody else if I'm an investor in them, because I know that's going to accelerate their growth. So it, it, Empire Avenue, I, I believe, is just the antithesis of every social network construct that we've seen to this point, if only because I believe its value is more in giving than it is receiving. And I realize I've been taken down, I mean, people like knocking me down a few pegs, thinking, well, Chris, you're, you're always this, you're always that. I'm like, But this is different. It really is. I mean, if, if I was not providing uh, an insane amount of dividends to my shareholders, uh, I, there would be no value in me being on uh, Empire Avenue. It's less about you and it's more about them. Okay. Top uh, top ideas for people just getting started. Uh, I, I always get in trouble for this, but the, I, I believe a prime rookie mistake is buying who you know on Empire Avenue. Uh, buying your friends. Bad idea. I mean, forget about... Empire Avenue did it, I'm sorry, I hate to piss in their Cheerios, but they did a horrible job at positioning Empire Avenue saying, buy and sell your friends. That's turned off so many people. Seriously, that's not what it's about. Really, you kind of got to look past marketing like you have to do for everything else, you know, in the world. Uh, it's more about uh, connecting with people that you otherwise would never have connected with or have even known because of their velocity. It's less about clout, this number that, you know, oh, I've got a clout of 60. That means I'm important. Well, you know, clout is just one metric. Uh, and, you know, Empire Avenue offers a set of metrics, but the metrics that uh, Empire Avenue uh, gives you is based less on how big your audience is and more about how you're engaging your audience and how they're engaging you. So you can have a billion followers on Twitter, but if only three people pay attention, your score is going to be so abysmal. Oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry, I, I wanted to throw this in there. I know nothing about sports, but there's a uh, a, I think he's a safety for the Chicago Bears. Uh, his name's Chris something rather. He's probably going to hate me for not knowing his name, but I'm not into sports. He's on Empire Avenue, right? I'm like, holy cow, this NFL like superstar. And so he like invested in me. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll invest in a football player. Sure, he's doing pretty well. Uh, you know, and I never would have done that otherwise. I mean, I, I'm not interested in football uh, in sports of any kind. So it's, but that I think comes back to the point of, you're wiser to make smarter investments uh, than you are just kind of you know, you know, just th throwing it all out there. That's my that's my approach because the only way and this is let me try to underscore because I, I'm I, I kind of get in trouble sometimes. People say, well, I want to you know I want to invest in my friends. That's fine. Typically, they're not great investments. In Empire Avenue, the only way, and this is why I say you're, you're better off going to good investments and helping people become better investments by getting them more active in social media. It's kind of this vicious circle, which isn't so vicious after all. Uh, the... Uh, uh, you, you can only make more investments uh, if you have more EVEs, and that's the virtual currency, if I didn't already clarify that. Um, so in order to get more EVEs, you have to make good investments. Well, if you make nothing but bad investments, you're not going to be able to invest in more people. So you want to make good investments, not to say that a, a bad investment is a bad person. No, they're completely separate. Uh, you can help anybody become a better investment on Empire Avenue by showing them the ropes uh, in, in social media, by showing them it's less about the stuff that you're putting out there and, and more about what you're giving to everybody else and the interactivity between. Uh, there's only so much time in the day, of course, uh, and you know certainly you, you, you have a leg up if you have a, a large audience that uh, you know you can kind of catalyze. Uh, but that being said, I think some of the more uh, powerful uh, use cases of Empire Avenue have come from people you would have no idea uh, who they were uh, because they, they, they're not the typical superstars. Um, you know, it's almost just the opposite, and uh, I think that's probably uh, another thrilling part that's what of, everybody of thinks, Empire Avenue. But no. And I, I made this uh, disclaimer before the, the video started. I don't own any stock. It's not even a public company. It's a private company, and they're looking for funding uh, in Empire Avenue. It's a very small team. Uh, they're not paying me anything. Just like, yeah, no, they're paying me as much as Apple did for talking about, you know, the iPhone and, 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 and using Macs. And they pay me as much as Twitter for using Twitter. They pay me as much as you know, any company that, you know, doesn't pay me for talking about them. I just like it, you know, it's 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 helped me at least uh, kind of connect and reconnect with uh, people out there. Cool. Thank you very much. And where can we find you? Uh, just, uh, I think you can still Google the word Chris, uh, and I'm there, or just at Chris Perillo on Twitter. Actually, my stock ticker is Perillo on Empire Avenue, and I publish my tips, too. I share them with everybody. I don't hold anything back. Thank you.